these are the basic negative emotions that we eat from. We're going to learn how to eat from here. Water, when you crave water, you're craving purification. Salt, again, meaning, and something a little tart. Vinegar, some people like vinegar chips. Sour is a reaction to things that are too fake and artificial and sweet. Like if you are surrounded by perhaps the Kardashians, you just like, Ugh. you just want to negate the sugar. So when we're afraid, we eat things that make us feel safe. Safety is like money, which is bread. And by the way, it's also cheese because cheese, cold cheese is cash. Warm cheese is intimacy. So if you look at like domestic violence uh, victims who are always afraid, they like pasta and they like cold cheese. They like cash. So if you want to catch, <laughs> you want to go to the cheese section, <laughs> your grocery store and hit on some women, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, when we're sad, we want sugar. And what's sugar? Alcohol. Yes, right? So people who drink a lot, they look happy at the bar, but that's because they're depressed. That's why they went to the bar. Okay, so you're going to write in your journal romance. When we want pizza, we crave romance. So that means you crave a light date, not a serious relationship, not deep romance, not commitment. Just a, you know, low maintenance romance. <laughs> no emotional baggage, please. <laughs> she doesn't like emotional baggage okay people who generally eat healthy hate to say this but they're not really ready to get in a deeply committed relationship or get married people who eat healthy don't want to be in a relationship with another person not a deep monogamous one they're committed to something else in their life but it isn't you You want to go on a date with someone who'll just eat the hamburger and the fries and the milkshake. They want to be with you. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, cream represents nurturing. It comes from a woman's breasts. Ice cream. Mommy loves me. Mommy, 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 mommy. Whipped cream. Mm, mommy, mommy, mommy. Sugar is love. Dairy is nurturing, and coffee is energy, motivation of any kind. And it isn't qualified. Like cheese is money, that's energy, but it's clearly money energy. Um, you know what I mean? Coffee is not, doesn't discriminate. It's energy for good, energy for bad, doesn't matter. Any kind of stimulation, meaning you just want to be triggered or stimulated or something. You know, some people just fight because they just like, let's do something. <clears throat> That's what coffee does. It'll poke you and creates a reaction in your nervous system for good or bad. So fruit is craving youth. Okay, anytime you want minerals like seaweed, salmon, sushi, that's meaning. Like salt is meaning and minerals is like, who deep meaning. You're craving deep meaning. And it comes from the ocean, which represents compassion. So yeah, so when fish is like the ancient wisdom, like deep meaning, that's a craving for deep meaning. If you want uh, red meat, you want a serious job, white meat is part-time job. Peanut butter is craving a relationship. Yeah, okay, spaghetti sauce. Again, that's another romance, a craving for romance. Yeah. So cereal is in the carb family for security, but it has sugar. So it has lots of sugar. So it's kind of like, you know, like the rich parent that takes care of you. <laughs> Anorexia is somebody who continually rejects you. Usually it's the mother. When a mother rejects you, it's deep. So that's anorexia. 
these are all the feelings in psychology that you can have. I know it's a lot. It's a lot of feelings. Joy is one level of, of happiness. Happiness is selfish. I is happy. It's me. I'm happy. You have to be selfish to be happy. Now, people, you notice people who are selfless are not happy. They have meaning and purpose and significance, but they're not happy. Mother Teresa was deeply depressed for 60-some years. They found that out in her journals after she died. She's not selfish. In order to be happy, you have to be selfish. Happiness is conditional. And that's why we don't want to strive to be happy all the time. I mean, it goes in, in ways. Whereas joy is a steady spiritual state of being. And happiness is dependent on external situations. I got a job. I'm happy. I lost my job. I'm not happy. 